Make sure you're still checking out the links down in the description and check out the newest link for the person I want to talk about today. I want to talk about Rinstar on TikTok. They use the pronouns uh, they, she. This is just a creator that I really enjoy. Uh, videos that I have personally seen of them when I scroll through TikTok, very kind of like not low effort, low energy. That's not what I'm trying to say, but just very chill vibes. I just, I really like Rin, especially when um, the, uh, House of the Dragon was like actively premiering. Rin Star had a lot of really cool like commentary and jokes and stuff like that. And I just think, especially during Black History Month, that if you enjoy somebody's content and they have things like Cash App or Venmo or Ko Kofi, Kofi, if you're actively enjoying the content that they're putting out and if there's any kind of like times where their Rin is like educating somebody, which that happens a lot because people have questions and Rin has chosen here and there to enlighten us, educate white people when they in no way, shape, or form have to. So if you want to check out Rin's links down below, send them some money. Give them like, send them like five bucks and be like, hey, go get yourself some cookies. Oh my god, you know what you could do? Send them uh, the, what is it? It's like the $4.99 and then I think with like taxes, depending on what state you're in, it comes up to like $5.50 maybe. Send them enough to get to buy one of the like the Sims packs because they make videos every once in a while of them playing Sims and that would be absolutely perfect, especially considering what this video is. Send them enough money so that they can get one of the Sims packs so that they have more stuff to add to their game so that they can make more cool content of them playing Sims. Hello Frenzies, welcome back to my channel. You're gonna see this outfit twice, so enjoy that because we're gonna do two birds one stone today but welcome back to another episode of not so berry i think we've broken the fire curse i'm saying this probably jinxing it in the universe i think we've broken the fire curse because there is no fire again in today's episode and some interesting things happen in this episode it really is the circle of life let me just say that all right hello frenzies welcome to the next episode of not so berry we are picking up pretty much the next day where we left off and today is Father's Day, uh, which is interesting. I went, um, obviously off screen, I went and gave Christopher uh, the entertainment career. I boosted him up to level four of the entertainment career, and I also boosted a bunch of his skills because he's not the heir, so it doesn't really matter if I cheat. Where, aha, here's the hiking trail. Let us, what do we want to do? Bamboo forest mountain shrine let's do the scenic loop and then i honestly might just do all of them today because i'm obsessed with it oh who's this little kid oh i love the hiking trails and what else can we do for father's day we can barbecue that's very dad uh thankful he loves this tradition because he's good oh you're oh god you went really fast uh give gifts and watch sports tv which will depending on when the vacation ends we'll probably just do those things at home they move very strangely on these hikes. I can't be too zoomed away because they're dress glitches. I just, I love this part of the snowy escape pack. They are moving very strange and like jerkily. I don't understand why. Taking her phone out so she can take pictures. And you want to play chess. We can play chess later. Actually, what are your skills at? Because I still need to do your skills. Oh, we're level 9 of logic and mischief. And we only have to get the last mischief skill and then we will complete chief of mischief i think our elements collection is almost done career is a nightmare but i think i think we'll be done done with everything other than career fairly soon oh what's this deep breath oh cute oh my god they're they're precious look at these little cutie pies what are you doing on the bridge What's wrong? Oh, he scared us up. Oh, Jesus! Ew, ew, ew! Ew! You're not getting attacked, are you? No, she thinks it's funny. At least it wasn't me from Wildlife Encounter. Ew! Ugh, can I, like, cancel that for you? I don't want you to- Ew! Oh my god, it's on him! Ew, ew, ew! I can't even look! Oh my god, that's so gross! <gasps> Oh my god, I can't even- I can't get close because it's on him. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Yeah, consult the map. Is it off of you now? Oh, thank god. Yeah, take a picture of the sights. She's like, oh, good thing that thing fell off of you. That was disgusting. I genuinely have the heebie-jeebies right now. 
All right, keep walking. Ew, <laughs> I'm so grossed out. I'm so sorry, Christopher. I tried to cancel it for you, and I guess it worked eventually. You're consulting the map, and she's taking selfies. <laughs> Me, if I ever actually went, like, out and did nature things. Like, if I ever actually went on a hike, that is what I would be doing. I would be taking selfies. While other people are like, oh, let's stop and prepare and, like, check our gear and everything. I'd be like, okay, posing. <laughs> He's like, am I doing a good job as, like, the hike leader? And she's like, you're doing great, sweetie. We love it. This is probably really good for her, too, if she is... Oh, she's talking about... Fa oh, my God, she's talking about fast food. I was gonna say, if she really is... If she is pregnant after last episode, um, it's probably really good for her to be exercising. What's happening? No, am I being attacked by bugs, too? I can't look. Oh, ew, 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 Why? Why is she being attacked? Did it fall off of her? Oh, thank God. Wait, what? Mind over menace. Using their willpower and wilderness. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Using all their wilderness knowledge, Heather allows Heather to out with the attack. Oh, thank God. So it's not on you, right? Oh, my God. Ew. Okay. Thank God. That's so gross. Oh, and they crossed the bridge this time. Did they? Did they cross the bridge this time? No, ew, why does it keep happening? Ew, 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 I hate it. Yeah, she got it again. She's like, fuck these bugs. I, that could never be me. I'm so glad her, like, high logic skill helps her do that, but I simply could never. That's so disgusting. All right, well, now that you live with us and vacation's over, uh, welcome to your new home. I'm going to go have you start grilling because, <gasps> oh, it's not, it's not too late yet. Let's grill and I will invite people over. I'm going to send a thank you card. Um, I don't know, to Vlad, I guess. No, I'll send it to Cora because Cora has been like really being my bestie lately. We'll do like a little housewarming party for him. We'll do a housewarming party for him. Oh, she put on, oh, she put on her party gear. I'm thinking like backyard party, but they both put on their party gear, which is actually super cute. Do I let her get abducted? I guess I'm letting her get abducted. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. And Vlad's just like, yeah, well that may as well happen. Can you come finish this, please? Oh my god. I need you two to be friends too. Oh my... I don't... Where's the weird light? I don't know how I feel about this. Cora's not here. Which is like a huge pain. Vlad? Vlad is. Busted it down. Jesus, Vlad. He's got the little. little hips. I didn't know a vampire would have the hips like that. Look at him go. Jesus! He's got the one two step. To world music. Like, damn. Damn, dude. <laughs> this is insane. He's like, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Chris is like, yo, 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 you gotta, you gotta teach me. Oh my god, look at him go! <laughs> I am genuinely amazed. Okay, good. Miko's eating. Oh, he, he, there he goes. <gasps> The romance guru is like, um, wow. Vlad is, Vlad's throwing shapes. You're almost done being abducted, thank God. Chris is like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you gonna, are you gonna teach me how to do that? Because I need you to teach me how to do that. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. At least I got abducted in a cute outfit, right? I guess that's like my only silver lining. 
Wait, whoa, 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 so two conflicting things here. First, she has aliens. Awesome. From being abducted, seeing that amazing alien technology truly boggles the mind. And when even when it's being used on you, which kind of scares me, because if she is pregnant from last episode. Uh, like, uh, does that affect the baby? But also she got the notification in the corner. Heather knows what it Heather never knows what's looming in the dark. Uh, darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night. So she's scared of the dark, but not of aliens. I, you know what? I'm going to leave it because I think that's a little bit interesting. She got abducted in the cutest outfit. I'm going to have her change her outfit immediately after. And then I'm also, Cora's sleeping. So she completely missed the party that I was trying to set her up on. I'm also going to have him, um, come check on you. Because I am a little worried about this. What is this? Oh, jealous pangs. Oh my god, you're so- I love you so much, but you're so annoying. Sweetheart. What? Whoa, 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 Jealous fury? What happened? What happened? I don't think anything happened. I'm fixing this. Calm down. I think because she's a jealous sim, she, like, freaks out sometimes about, like, the dumbest shit. I don't think he was flirting with anybody other than you, sweetheart. Yeah, no. I don't think he was flirting with anybody other than you, so relax. Calm down. There's no way. I think because she's a jealous sim when there are just other people around, she gets to be a tiny bit unbearable. <laughs> Which is true. Oh my god, are we all hanging out by the pool? That's very cute. Here, why don't you sit here? Sit on this side of him. Bees? What just happened with the bees? Bees? What is happening? I'm trying to have like a nice friend day. Vlad, did you steal milk out of my fridge? I guess he did. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Heather is pregnant eating for two. Well, the try for baby certainly worked. She doesn't look very happy, but maybe she just like feels super bloated. I <laughs> oh my god, a child on the way. Heather wants children and is happy to know that one is on the way. All right, um, well... Miko's gonna leave in a minute, I'm pretty sure. I think everyone's gonna leave. Oh, she's so cute. Um, when he gets out here, we are going to share the big news. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. Oh, paternity testing. That's fucking crazy to me. Um, share big news. And then enthuse about pregnancy, because both of them have that trait that they want children. So I think they're going to be... Ah, ah. I need pictures. I need pictures. I need to capture the memories. It's so dark out here. <laughs> Why couldn't you guys do this in the daytime? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ready? He's going to react. He's going to be so excited. Yay! <laughs> That's cute. All right. We are back at work after our lovely vacation. And since we found out we were pregnant, oh, she looks a little weird because I had her sunbathe and I don't like the tan that she got. Before we go and start our day, we are going to do our morning. Hey, I picked you up a coffee on the way. She's like, oh my God, thank you. But I'm not really interested in drinking caffeine. What cheating situation? Nobody cheated. Okay, well, whatever. I'm doing that because nobody cheated. Nobody cheated? Nothing. There was nothing. I Okay, anyway. Oh my god, I don't even know what the situation is. You know what? While you're at home, why don't you work on your guitar skill? Anyway. I don't understand. Hi, Vlad. Good morning. He's like, you look different. And she's like, yeah, I went on vacation. And he's like, yeah, that's... I'm very, I'm a very old vampire. I'm a centuries old vampire. And that's definitely what's different. The fact that you went on vacation. Vlad's like, oh my god, you're having offspring. Oh no, he's excited. Oh, we'll have to tell Cora too. We'll have to uh, tell Cora that we're pregnant. 
doesn't she have a relationship with the robot? She does. They're good friends. So maybe she's she has to um, chat with it for 10 minutes. So maybe she'll also tell the robot that she is pregnant. So she has a couple people at work that she has to let know that like, hey, guess what? There's going to be a baby berry on the way. A baby mulberry. Her last name is Mulberry, not just Berry. <gasps> Vlad? Don't y do not yell at me. Don't ever yell at me again. I will, I don't care if you're a centuries old vampire. I will literally smack you. Actually, that sounds really funny. That sounds like a gag in like a movie where like the scary like centuries old vampire that's like gonna eat all of like the people or whatever. And then like one of the members of the group that just like walk walks up and goes and like smacks him across the face. I think that would actually be hilarious. I don't want to do that to Vlad. I want Vlad and I to be best friends, but he yelled at me about crabs. Cause they're okay. There's no cheating situation, but maybe Vlad is like, don't cheat. You'll get crabs. And she's like, I'm literally pregnant with my partner's child. I'm not cheating on anybody. And he's not cheating on me because the God of the Sims made sure of it. Okay. Well, Right now, I can't figure out how to get rid of her tan, and the cheat menu won't come up. So we are just on the precipice of getting this mischief skill at 3.30 in the morning, which I feel like is appropriate for her. But I wanted to be here. I wanted to be here with you guys. I didn't want to do this off camera when she got the mischief skill. Because when we get this mischief skill, we are not only going to master the mischief skill, which is one part of the challenge that we need to complete, but we are also going to max our aspiration, which is another part of this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, no, focus the camera on her. Come on, baby. Come on, you got this. Come on, Simmy. <gasps> Aspiration complete. Heather has just achieved her dream of becoming an enormous nuisance. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to be so annoying. No, it doesn't. It's so, so easy to be this annoying all the time. I mastered the mischief. Have a sim reach the mass lo max level of mischief skill. I can perform the air horn on other sims. I love it here. I love it here. I'm going to be honest with you. I really love it. We got our little house husband uh, working. Hi, Vlad. Good morning. Our morning chit chat. My metal, my crystal. Ooh, I can invent a cloning machine. Um, let's analyze things before we do things like that. How do I get a cloning machine? I have the... Yeah, okay, we'll invent one. Whatever. I have the stuff I need for an MA as well. Almost second trimester, not quite yet. Hi, good morning, Vlad. I feel like whenever this generation ends and, like, Heather's you know, died or retired or whatever, and we're no longer playing with the scientist career every day, I'm going to be really sad. He's like, ew. <laughs> I'm going to be really sad that we're not... Vlad! He's insulting us. Oh my god. I... I want to delete that sentiment because they're friends, but I think maybe because he's been doing it so often lately, I shouldn't, and I should let her have the festering grudge against him. Because that's rude. Heather has a deep-seated grudge against Vlad, 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 It's hard to forget and forgive the past, which may make being around him very unpleasant for her. I think I'm going to leave it. Usually I just get rid of those because it's like the game throwing in random things or like the fact that he has the evil trait. And I like in my head, if they have the evil trait, but the friendship is really high, that shouldn't be a thing. But I think maybe I should let it be a thing. Because he's been doing it a lot lately. I, he's done it a couple times off camera as well. And I'm not... I really am not a fan of that. I And I don't like that he's yelling at her so much when she's pregnant. Because we were best friends. And he didn't... We didn't lose friendship when Chris asked us to be just friends. Because usually when another... If you become best friends with a different sim, your previous best friend will lose uh, like relationship points. But Vlad didn't, so I assumed he was okay with it. I don't know if he's mad at me for doing that or what, but I don't know if we should tell him to go get a different job. Like, maybe us working together isn't working anymore. I don't know what Vlad's issue is with me lately, but I'm not a fan of it. I am re really, truly am not a fan. Oh my god, yeah, see, just now. She wanted to be best friends. We dropped a bunch of friendship, and... 
we have oh my god we have these weird oh god we have all these weird sentiments now so i'm gonna cheat your friendship back up to where it was that's super annoying i don't like that about the high school pack that makes me really want to un like i love the furniture but that makes me want to uninstall the the high school pack because that has only happened since i've had that downloaded hey diana how you doing you're new to the office to the lab how you feeling oh my god are you okay that was straight up broken glass in your eye i'll replace that um are you all right i wouldn't be worried about the trash bestie i'd be worried about your face yeah maybe go ask the receptionist if she can help you because that fully blew up in your face um big yikes how are you doing immediately jinxes this poor woman well, okay, I went into the family inventory to put, like, these, her little work things in the inventory for now, because I don't have anywhere to put them in the house, and I forgot that when Chris moved into us, I didn't have him sell his furniture, I had him keep it, so we are about to make so much money, so maybe he can hang out and talk to his coworkers instead of working hard, because I'm about to sell all his furniture. <laughs> And no, I don't feel bad because he moved into my three bedroom, two bath with a pool when he lived in a tiny lot. And now he lives in like a nice neighborhood with everything built and a cute girlfriend. And he has babies on the way. Like, I don't feel bad selling his stuff. Like even his laptop, I don't feel bad because we have a nice computer. Okay, I finally figured out how to fix her tan. I found out the cheat. I couldn't find the cheat before, but look at her. Look, she's normal now. She's white again. That's exactly how she should be. And she's about to reach level 10 of her logic skill. We are, hold on, show me the percent. We're 89% complete of the logic skill. And also, oh, you're very playful. Uh, Chris came home from work and he is now level five of the entertainment career and he is a musician. So it, it came up to be comedian or musician. And obviously I picked musician because yeah, I still want to see if I can find a mod that do, like puts you in like the idol career like a k-pop idol mod i don't know oh she looks like she's about to give up on the logic skill okay uh, we can go into cast now and fix it because i didn't want to go into cast and fix her until she was her normal skin tone because she just looked the tan was nice but it was much too dark and it looked a little bit like blackface and i'm not trying to do that um but also I also said in like a clip or two ago that I was going to delete the high school pack because I was like, oh, I don't like the best friend thing. But then I redecorated the house. So I gave them a new bed and hung up all of their pictures together. <laughs> Look at us. All of our pictures from Mount Coma Revy, which I think is so sweet. And then oh, I did this like this is her um her thing from work, the from analyzing the crystal. And I added like little things to show that like, instead of it just being a bedroom that she has fully decorated, it's also showing that she has a partner that lives with her. So I added kind of like workout stuff and a little hat and another picture of them. I also, I did, here, I'll show you the walls first. I moved the, um, the, the study and I did, hold on. There's one wall I really want to show you that I think is really cute. I moved the study and I added like a spot for Chris to like work on his work stuff. And I put more pictures of them together and everything and gave him his, uh, his, his piano thingy. And I also gave her new furniture, like a new desk and everything from the, the high school years pack. I did end up moving the plant here. And then I did a bit of like, oh, there's another picture. There's so many pictures of them. Added another picture and like rearranged these a little bit. And I changed this little area so now we have new couches we have like little ipad that both of them you know can pretend to work off of and now i will show you the nursery i set up this is this is what i've settled on i think it's very cute and i think it's red for the next gen without being too red and like look at how cute that rug is and i put some like studio ghibli stuff on the wall and i just think it's darling okay so change of plans again i was i keep saying i'm gonna make her over and then i can't make her over the size of her stomach is making it incredibly hard to dress her new clothes like look at that it's making it very hard to dress her new clothes so heather is not going to get a makeover yet we're gonna give her a makeover after we have the baby chris however did get a makeover i feel like I feel like the makeover I gave him is like full dad. I feel like he looks like a dad, even though the baby's not here yet. 
so here he is. <laughs> I grew out his hair. I was going to cut it shorter, but I like how his hair looks longer. Uh, so I changed his every day. Oh, I changed his formal wear. I made his formal wear look like a little more professional, I guess, because now he's like in the entertainment career and he's going to like get to the top of the entertainment career. What other outfits did I change? Oh, I changed his uh, sleepwear because when I give Heather her makeover, I think I want to put them in like kind of matching pajamas. So I uh, koalas, obviously. Uh, changed his party wear again, made him look like a little more put together. I don't know. Oh, and I changed, I changed his hot weather as well, because I feel like this is just very, very dad, but also like nice for me to look at. <laughs> Good morning, Vlad. Um, I have to talk to Maurice and take a DNA sample apparently. So why don't I just do our little morning coffee, even though you're being very weird. I will still ask for a DNA sample. Be like, listen, whether you, yeah, simmering rage because Vlad's nearby, whether you want to deal with me or not, I think we should still do our little morning coffee because I love Vlad, but Vlad doesn't seem to love me. I don't know what the issue is. Glitch hug? Glitch hug. There it is. At least he'll still give us our glitch tug, even though he wants to yell at us all the time, apparently. Okay, I abandoned the rocket. We can see it outside, but she's so close and it, I think it would be cool to get like things done. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I mean? Because we only have, we have a little over an hour left and I know we can get the logic skill up. And then you know what? Any extra time we have after getting the logic skill up, we will use to go work on the rocket again. <laughs> Come on. I feel like it's taking forever. 94%. <gasps> yes! Elementary. Have a sim reach the max level of logic skill. And we've mastered the logic skill and I discovered a new element. Is it one we've already had? I think so. I think we've already had Gooblek. Okay. Woo! We got promoted though. Heather's been promoted to UFOologist, which I guess is appropriate considering she's been abducted. Uh, additional $30 per hour for a grand total of 102 per hour. Uh, cautionary tail door. Oh, that's like the, the lab door and windows that she got. That is so incredible. That's so nice because Chris got promoted like right before I started um, like filming and now she's promoted. So it's like they got double. She wants to plan a date and she's going to be in the third trimester in 17 hours. So why don't we go on a date? Like, hold on. I'm going to get her a little bubble bath. And why don't I wanted to go on a baby moon, but I think I'm playing it a little late. Okay, well, my game crashed right when I was about to try to take them on this baby moon, so I don't know if I should go on it anymore. And I missed reading out the, uh, what's it called, breakthrough that she got. So Eureka, Heather Mulberry has had her 11th breakthrough and wrote down the idea for, excuse me, electro wormhole generator. Electro flux wormhole generator. Okay, so very cool. I had to go back and basically do everything all over again. I had to do Chris's makeover all over again, and I had to go through and get her logic skill and do the work day. But we do have logic 10, mischief 10, and we are level six of the scientist career. I just had to go back and do, I had to, I had to go back and do all of it over again. But maybe the baby mood isn't such a good idea. Maybe, maybe we should just stay in Oasis Springs and <laughs> worry about work because my game crashed. And it was really upsetting. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're not doing a baby moon then. Fuck it. Maybe we can do it. Maybe we'll just have to wait to go. Because I wanted to go to Solani for like a day or two. Um, and just like experience the beach and everything. But maybe we'll have to wait until like we have the child. And that the child is old enough to go to Solani. Because I don't really want to take them as a toddler. I'd rather take them as a kid. So we might have to wait a little while. Okay, boom. Uh, Heather had her 12th breakthrough for Ghost Goo Serum. So that's good. We'll have the breakthroughs and we'll be like on our way to our next promotion by the time the baby's born because she's going into third trimester in 10 hours. So we'll work with that. Um, um, um. Okay. Uh, hi, Heather. I'm just calling to let you know that your close friend Vlad has passed away. I... How did you die? Uh, we just saw him. 
We just saw him at work today. Why am I sad? He's been so rude to us. Oh my god. How did he die? She's got back pain and she's mourning a close friend, but... Uh, Chris is vibing. I'm so happy for you, best. How did you die, Vlad? Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Everything's kicking off. I was gonna say, when we go to work... I want to see who our new coworker is, but unexpected visitors. Alert! Aliens have infiltrated the headquarters and are trying to pass themselves as humans. Very suspicious. Be on the lookout for them and try and any sabotaged equipment. And we didn't win the lottery. Freaking Candy Burr won the lottery. Oh my god, wait, no. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know Vlad was being very rude, but there's no one now here to greet us in the morning. There's no one here... To do, like, a morning coffee and, like, a weird glitch. What are we going to do without Vlad? <laughs> she's not... She's about as sad as losing Vlad as she is losing the lottery. So, like, maybe they've kind of grown apart. She doesn't seem that sad. I just... <sighs> I'm sad. And she's less sad than I am, basically. <laughs> Fairly boring day at uh, our work today, but Chris got promoted to serious musician. Uh, he will now make an additional $11 per hour for a $78 per hour pay. He's a fairly kept man, uh, but he got an off the chart charts music award. So I'll have to remember to put that out um, in the house. But congratulations, little cutie pie on your promotion. Look at you go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the notification was just there. Okay, we've gone into labor. We have gone into labor. I am gonna save so quickly because I'm so scared. My game's already crashed. I'm so scared that it's gonna crash when I go to the hospital. She immediately wakes up and wants to do the laundry. And he's gonna wake up and freak out immediately. Okay. We're gonna go have the baby at the hospital... I hope my game doesn't crash because I, I like getting the birth certificates. It would probably be easier to have the babies at home, but I like getting the birth certificates and like leaving them up. Like I'll probably put them up in her study because I think it's cute. I think it's cute to have like the little records and everything. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this works. <gasps> we have, we have this doctor here. Now he's freaking out. Good to know. There's no nurses. Um... For us to check in. She's like, we are at a hospital. I need to make sure I'm cleanly. Oh no, she's going. She's... No, 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 no. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I thought you were... Oh, okay. He's just ready to go. Go, 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 go. Your child's about to be born. Oh my God. You're not even in the room. Hurry up. Run. Run. Okay. 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 These... I don't know why there's a laser involved in my pregnancy. That is a vampire, actually. He's part of the Bloodborne coven. coven. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> no, I wanted a picture of you freaking out. You don't need to view things while you're freaking out about your wife. Oh my god, not even his what? This man just killed me. This man just murdered me? This man killed me. Oh my god, it's a boy. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta look up baby names. I didn't pick out names, like boys or girls going into this. So let me go look. So what I do for my like Knott's Berry playthroughs is I don't do like by color of each generation, which there's nothing wrong with people who do that. Like when, you know, like gray gen is ash and yellow gen is summer. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer to do like the theme for the generation, so like I'm looking up right now uh, romantic baby names because Red Gen is going to be very heavily involved with different romantic affairs. So let's look up a boy's, a, ro a romantic boy's name. All right, the list I'm looking up right now, uh, the very first one on the list says Caspian is a romantic and heroic name which is here to stay since his popularity shot up. So I think we're going to name our little boyo Caspian. <gasps> cute okay so we had a baby boy i'm very excited <gasps> oh my god we get twins oh my god okay now i need a girl's name oh my goodness i am freaking out uh okay so caspian and his twin sister 
Oh my God. I didn't think we were going to have twins. I was hoping for twins. I was manifesting twins, but I didn't think we were actually going to have one. Okay. Have one, have them. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I kind of like the name Giselle. I kind of like that Caspian and Giselle. That sounds cute, actually. So Caspian and Giselle Mulberry. Okay, please don't be more than two. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank, okay, thank goodness it was only two. Let me save super quick. Oh, I can't save because she's actively giving birth. What are you viewing that's more important than viewing your child? All right, well, this is Caspian. So Caspian's the older brother. Oh my God, and I, now I can give her a makeover too. Okay, 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 okay. All right, there they are. I can't just look at them for too long because they're both gonna start crying in a minute. But th those, they're the ba- Oh, they're the babies. Caspian is on the left and Giselle is on the right. You can tell by the onesies because they're gendered. Apparently green and blue are boys and yellow and pink is girlies, okay? And I'm kind of sad that I put the vampire bat because I, I purposely put the vampire bat when I was decorating their room because I wanted it to be like, oh, like maybe Vlad's not like super close and he doesn't interact with them really, but like at least he gave us a gift. You know what? I'm going to re rename Bearcula to Vlad in his memory. I can't believe he died. I want to know how he died. I want to know where he died. Okay. Alrighty, you two. Meet your children. You didn't get to, you didn't get to meet Giselle in the hospital because her brother took up her the crib and you didn't get to meet either of your children because you were playing video games. Oh, this is cute. Although they're both in their hot weather outfit, so they're both wearing sunglasses and it just looks ridiculous. All right, frenzies, I'm going to leave you with Heather's new makeover. I cut her hair and it's a slightly different mint than the other hairs. But when I, I feel like I'm going to end up growing it out again on her or I should say changing it. But I changed it to this like cute little mint color and I gave her some updated outfits. I tried to go like I did how I dressed Chris. I tried to go like a little more mom, but still keep Heather's personality. The thing is, a lot of what I want to put her in, I feel like is not right for the fact that they live in Oasis Springs in the desert. So anyway, uh, I tried to go kind of like based off of her old outfits too. So like still a cute little dress and still kind of like an interesting sweater situation. Uh, her formal wear didn't change. I changed her athletic wear a little bit. Just put like a little, little top on. I changed her sleepwear so that we have, he has the koalas and she has the whales, which I, I think is very cute and appropriate. Um, and I changed her hot weather wear because I thought that was a cute little outfit as well. But yeah, I will leave you guys with Heather's new makeover, her new little outfits. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know if you are excited for the twins for Caspian and Giselle. Oh boy. I don't know if we'll have any more children after this. I think this is going to be it. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Couldn't be bothered in the hospital to interact with them. He went straight to play in Blick Block, but now he's standing in the nursery staring at- Oh, nope, never mind. He wants to go grill. Nope, he wants to clean the grill. Spoke too soon.